So Darnold's video. Um, Is there a teleprompter? It seemed like he was looking above the camera, but yeah. it seemed to us that he really wasn't speaking freely. Okay. okay. It was a checklist. And so that leads us to the first ever edition here on the Rich Eisen Show of What Were They Really Thinking? What Were They Really Thinking? Okay, so let me interpret this for yeah, you. Yeah, give it to okay, me. Okay, here's a video number. Here's the, here's the way that Darnold's video started. Uh, roll it. Hey, Trojan fans. This is Sam Darnold. After talking to my immediate family, very close friends, and many people who have helped me throughout my life, I have made the decision to declare for the 2018 NFL Draft. Okay, so he's looking above the camera. Yeah. So leads me to think, what was he really thinking? And this is what he was really thinking. I also talked to an agent and determined that the signing bonus for Miles Garrett last year was just south of $22 million. <laughs> I can make a little bit more than that this coming year and drive a Ferrari around Ohio rather than a 10-speed around South Central Los Angeles. I'm out of here. Roll tape on number two. <laughs> and to Coach Helton, I cannot thank you enough for believing in a kid from San Clemente High School with such little game tape and for giving me the opportunity and chance to start at such an incredible university. But if you had only started me three games sooner, we could have been playing for the national championship last year. What's your evaluation on well, that? Well, the, they were going to lose to Alabama either way, but they would have beat Utah. So... <laughs> Maybe, yeah, yeah. But you, I mean, come on now. <laughs> he started against Utah, but having that experience before that, because he lost to Stanford, maybe they would have beat Stanford. They could have been. They would have been playing for I the national championship the way that they were playing at the end of the they year last rolling. year. They were rolling. Okay, roll. Speaking of rolling, here's number three. I want to thank all of my teammates for believing in me as your quarterback. Just stick with the process, because as we know, the countless hours of workouts. And even studying and staying up late, watching film, have really paid off and are going to pay off in the future. Well, certainly. I could not be more proud to have been your teammate for three years now. Yes, even though you let me get sacked eight times in the Cotton Bowl. <laughs> but please keep studying so you don't drop all those passes. What do you think? That's good interpretation. But is, <laughs> is, he, is he not just like a super likable dude, though? He is. He is, but the likability factor is way up. It there. is way up there, and the folks in Ohio are going to be wondering what he's really thinking because he's not really telling us what he's thinking. Certainly, you, you, in the final part of his video. Thank you to all the USC family. You have been there with us through thick and thin, and have been so courteous to my family, me, and my teammates and coaches. USC is going to continue to rise and continue to build and win a bunch of championships. It was a good run being the best team in Los Angeles all these years. Oh, wow. Wow. But now I will go to the state of Ohio to try and knock the Rams down a peg so you could somehow continue being the best team in Los Angeles. <laughs> but I will be on an 0-16 team fighting on. <laughs> See, I think How about you, I, that? I, I, that's Did pretty I good. That's Did very good. That's that last part? The, the only thing I thought there was a little subliminal message there, which was yes. Joe Thomas. Please, please get healthy and come back. <laughs> don't buy the Panthers. Don't really be serious about buying the Panthers. You don't want to go to that Monday night booth. Please come back. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.